The seven richest people in world history money alone does not make a person rich what you do with that money counts as well. And this video breaks down the top seven richest people in world history from ancient to modern times. This list includes great tyrants who plundered their people to enrich themselves, as well as those who used their money to benefit society. The list also includes people from many different spheres of life businessmen, inventors, scientists, artists, and more. Number 7, Mir Osman Ali Khan 1886-1967 $230 billion. In his office, Mir Osman Ali Khan is said to have camped the diamond as a heavyweight NISM of Hyperabad is another name for him. Until India seized the kingdom, he was one of the seven isms that controlled Hyderabad Jacob Diamond valued $95 million today was part of a personal gold collection worth over $100 million, and he had more than $400 million in jewelry, even though he had an enormous personal fortune and also had public currency called the Hyperbond Rupee. He was also featured on the cover of Time magazine in 1937. Indian history's wealthiest individual, he had an estimated net worth of around $230 billion at the time of his death. Number 6 Nikolai Alexandrovich Raman off 1868-1918 $300 billion. He is also known as Nicholas II of Russia, the last emperor of Russia, and a ruler of Poland and Finland from 1894 until 1917, he governed Russia until he and his family were assassinated by Bolshevik rebels. It is estimated that Sari, Nicholas II had a net worth of over $900 million in 1916, which was equal to $300 billion in 2012. When adjusted for inflation, the Russian Orthodox Church has declared him a saint, making him the wealthiest saint in human history with a net worth of $300 billion. Number 5 John D. Rockefeller 1839-1937 $341 billion John Davison Rockefeller, the legendary oil magnate and millionaire commanded 90% of the flow of black gold throughout the 20th century oil in 1937. At the age of 97, he passed away with the founding of the Standard Oil Company the United States' his biggest oil firm was born. During that period, he controlled 90% of the world's oil supply, one big corporation was broken up into 34 smaller ones, John D. Rockefeller was also the first person to raise $1 billion in private capital. If his riches were converted, it'd be worth around $341 billion. After the First World War, he donated a large sum of money to charitable organizations and established the Rockefeller Foundation with a $250 million investment. Number 4 Andrew Carnegie 1835-1919 $372 billion Before he died in 1919, Andrew Carnegie, a wealthy Scots-American industrialist and philanthropist amassed his fortune. In the 19th century, Andrew Carnegie turned his attention away from the oil sector and onto the steel industry with the Carnegie Steel Company, which he founded alongside Rockefeller. At the time, his net worth was estimated at $372 billion. He established more than 1,600 public libraries in the United States using his money, he thought it was necessary to put money into education therefore, he poured millions of dollars into it in the United States. Andrew spent his last years as a philanthropist, donating 90% of his income to various charities, colleges and other institutions before he passed away. Number 3 Akbar the first 1542-1605-680 billion dollars. His reign lasted from 1556 until 1605, when he was referred to as Akbar, the great the third Mug Hall Emperor of India, approximately the same size as modern-day India. His empire was responsible for a quarter of global GDP at the time, the Mansub Dari system was used by the Mughals. In other words, areas where an officer is given the responsibility of bringing in money from the property. For this money, the emperor may demand troops depending on the territory size, because they weren't picked via a family process. Akbar had a tremendous lot of discretion. The emperor was able to collect taxes from 15 of these provinces as a result of the empire's rule which made him wealthy. Number 2 Augustus Caesar 63 BC to AD 14 4.6 trillion dollars. After the death of his father, Julius Caesar, Augustus took control of the Roman Empire which included Egypt and wrote it from 27 BC to AD 14, when Rome went from being a republic to an empire. 
He was one of the most effective commanders in the process, a realm that had 25 to 30 percent of the world's GDP at the time belonged to him, making him the mastermind behind the Pax Romana. Number 1, Munsa Musa 1280 to 1337 Incalculable Wealth, it is widely accepted that Munsa Musa who ruled the Elian Empire from 1280 to 1337 was the wealthiest man in the world at the time. It's true that he had the know-how to take Timbuktu and open up the key Trans-Sahara and trade routes to Niger. Timbuktu's economy and culture benefited greatly through his region, which lasted from 1280 to 1337. In addition, he controlled the bamboo gold mines, which produce more than half of the world's current gold supply that his wealth cannot be quantified in dollars euros or any other currency is a foregone conclusion. His journey to Mecca required him to carry about 2 kilograms of gold with 60,000 companions. His total fortune was about $400 US dollars, so there you have it. Did we forget anyone that is supposed to be on this list? Let us know in the comments below.